Psychology of money. Today, we've embarked on a journey through a book that is not just about money, but about understanding ourselves. Let's decode the timeless lessons hidden in each chapter. No one crazy. Imagine two friends, Sarah and John. Sarah saves every penny, skeptical of stock markets, while John is a risk taker, investing heavily. Why? Sarah saw her family struggled financially, but John grew up in a financially stable home. Their past shapes their money habits. Listen, our financial behavior is often a reflection of our life experiences. Lucky and risk. Think of a successful startup founder and the failed one. Both took similar risks, but one had the wind of luck, while the other faced the storm of unforeseen circumstances. It is a powerful reminder that success isn't always in our control, as much as we like to think. Never enough. The story of a Wall Street banker who amassed great wealth but couldn't stop wanting more, leading to his downfall, teach us a vital lesson. Wealth isn't just about accumulating more. It is about finding contentment and knowing you're enough. These stories are just the beginning. Let's Deep deeper into the book's wisdom. Remember, money isn't just about number, it is about our stories. Confounding compounding. Consider Alice, who started saving small amounts early in her career. Jesus Bob, who waited to save but with large amounts. Year later, Alice's savings outgrew Bob's. Why? The magic of compounding over time. Starting early can lead to astonishing results. Getting wealthy, staying wealthy. Building wealth might require bold risk, but maintaining it calls for caution. It is like climbing a mountain and then safely descending. The skills for both parts of the journey are different but equally crucial. Have you experienced a moment where you had to balance risk and caution? In your financial journey, share the comments below.